The Files app on your iPhone is your all-in-one digital filing cabinet. It lets you organize documents, photos, and more. Whether they are stored in your device, in iCloud Drive, or even cloud services like Dropbox and Google Drive. It is the easiest way to keep everything in one place and within reach. In today's video, I'll show you exactly how to use the Files app like a pro. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Steph and in this channel, I teach you quick daily tech tips that make your life a little easier. Go to your Files app on your iPhone or you can swipe down and search for files. On the bottom, you can see three options, Recents, Shared and Browse. Recents will be those files that you downloaded or recently saved. The Shared folder will be when someone else shared files with you and this will appear here. Under Browse, you can see the files and folders currently in your iCloud Drive. Here you can find all the files that you have saved on your iCloud Drive. Tap on Browse again to go back to the main page. Under Locations, you can see the different locations that you can have access to. On My iPhone will refer to what is on your iPhone. And then you see the other options such as iCloud Drive and Google Drive. If you have a OneDrive account from Microsoft, it should appear here too. So let's say you have a file on your iPhone. You can tap on it to view it, or you can tap and hold to bring up a list of actions you can do to your file. You can copy, move, or share the file, and also rename, compress, and duplicate the file. If you do not want the file, you can always delete it. These options are pretty self-explanatory, so you can test them out yourself and make the appropriate action. One very useful function is the ability to tag your files. So let's say this file is very important, so you might want to tag in red. Here you can see a little red dot has been added to your file name. And when you go back to the main page, you can tap on red under tags, and you can see the list of files you have tagged as important here for easy future access. There you go. If you found today's video useful, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more useful videos like this. Until the next video, I'm Steph, take care and bye-bye.